stick, hairspray is also really important. And I'm doing all this before I've even done my ponytail. So now that I've done all this, brush it back one last time, <laughs> I'm going to put the ponytails in. You're looking for elastic that's nice and thick if they have a lot of hair like this one. Sometimes I even use two elastics to really hold it back good. And I put the elastic in nice and tight. Again, right about at the ear level. And then I'm ready to do my bun. So once I have the elastic in really good, I'm gonna take the ponytail, I'm gonna brush it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna twist it up. If they have very curly or thin hair, you can even spray the ponytail to help it stay nice and slick. And then we're just gonna slowly start wrapping it around to make our little bun. And I wrap it around and I make a nice little bun flat to the head as much as possible. And I hold it down with my hand. And you really wanna use the open hair pins. You can find these pins at Sally's or Walgreens or most drugstores, the open hair pins help to hold the hair much better than the bobby pins. And I'm just going to start putting pins in all around the bun. And you want to use many, not just two or three. The more pins, the better. And I would probably use a lot more pins for showtime, but for now, this gives you a good idea. She has a nice flat bun. And the last final touch is the hairnet. You can find these again at all the drugstores and at Sally's. The hairnet to match their hair color. They have blonde, black, and brown. You wrap it around the bun nicely until there is none left. And then you have a beautiful looking bun. Would you stand up and smile for the camera? And turn, turn around, around. <laughs> and show your beautiful bun and a lot and a lot of pins. Great job, thank you. Now we're gonna turn and we're gonna do the makeup. Okay, so now we're ready for makeup. For makeup for the little ones, we don't require too much. It's a good idea to use a little bit of base or foundation, cream foundation, because it kind of helps the powder to stick well to the face. And so I'm gonna just put a little bit and smudge it well. You can use a little sponge too if you want. Thank you. Kind of helps to keep the powder on their face. Okay, and then I use um, just your regular face powder. This takes the shine out, and again, it helps the blush and everything else to stay well on the face. So I put a little bit of powder all over her face. We'll have them close their eyes and their lips. Good job. And we put a little bit of powder all around. The next step is your blush. You want to put a good amount of blush because this defines your little cheeks and it shows definition. We want to use pink, like a pinky color. Turn that way, sweetie. Good job. Mm -hmm. Right on their little cheekbones. Good little amount of blush. Great. And then your next step is your eyeshadow. We use um, like the white cream color eyeshadow on the eyelid. Close our eyes. If you need to come closer to see better here, feel free to. It's high definition. Great. So I put a little bit of the white cream colored off white right on the eyelid. Covers it nicely. All above the eyelid. Great. And then after that, I do a little bit of the brown right in the crease, just to define their eye a little bit, just a little bit. And this helps define their eyes. The makeup really helps their faces be defined on stage. Otherwise, with the lights and all that, they kind of just look white. We want to define their faces a little bit, but not go too heavy. For the little babies, that might just be enough. This and then the little lipstick at the end. But once they're about six or so, we ask a little bit of eyeliner on the top of the eye. Close your eyes, love. Good. Just a little bit of eyeliner very carefully. I like liquid eyeliner because it's 
much easier to put on. Keep them closed. So we do a little line right above the eyelashes, defines the eye. closed. And then last but not least, before our lipstick, is a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm sorry, mascara. All this should be either browns or blacks. When you do the mascara, have them look up right at you with, with their eyes, not look up, but right at you. Otherwise, it will smudge. Very good. We put a little bit of mascara on the top and the bottom. And then last but not least, is lipstick. All lipstick for the recital is red. And you have them open their mouth really wide. That's the best way to do it. Chin up, honey. Yes. And we want bright, bright red lipstick for everyone. Because this will make a big difference on stage. It will help to really define their little mouths. And it kind of just finalizes the whole look. Ah, really wide. Good job. smile. Good. Now stand up and give a big smile for the camera and that is our look for recital mm -hmm. for the little ones. Of course as they get older they do a little heavier makeup but that's what you want to look like for picture day and for recital day. Beautiful job. Thank you Miss Annabelle for being our model. Thank you.